to another big time fishing episode. It's just me today. Today we're going to be setting up a new terrarium for some lizards and other stuff. So we're going to go through everything that you need to set it up and how to set it up. So as far as roof fences go, you're going to need a small submersible water pump. Mine is uh, 92 gallons per hour. Pretty small. It's uh, adjustable. I think I got it on Amazon. And then you're going to want a 50 watt heater that's also submersible. Um, you're gonna need your tank size. I went with a 20 gallon long because it's just, it's just a cool shape. Um, you're gonna need uh, aquarium use egg crate. You're gonna need uh, just any kind of like plastic liner. Um, you're also gonna need a heat lamp, a heat lamp bulb. I think it's 75 watt. Um, you can get a light if you want. I did because this still looks nicer. You're gonna need advanced silicone, just 100% waterproof silicone, all purpose. And then finally, you're gonna need uh, expanding foam. This is made by great stuff. It's just called the gaps and cracks, and I'll pop a picture up. Don't forget the substrate we're gonna use for up on the land and also in the bottom. And then you can use whatever decorations you want. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, little update for you guys. I cut everything out. I used the egg crate for just like the main layer. And I'm, I put plastic board on top of it to hold up the substrate. And then on the bottom, underneath, I'll use wooden dowels to hold everything up. I might end up adding one back here. Just because that's a lot of weight for that back corner. But we'll see. Alright guys, I'm back. I should have done an update before this, but it's fine. So, I got everything in. Um, all the dowels are set. I used this expanding foam to just fill all the gaps and creases. And I ended up putting that grate there so water would pass. That way I can hide all my electronic stuff like the the heater and the pump. So I got, got it all sealed up. Um, yeah, that's where the waterfall is going to be so that's the tube coming out for that and yeah just wanted to show you i got m a lot of the foam cut away to the general shape i wanted at i will be cutting more as i go along and i'm probably going to be adding more foam just in this general area so i can just kind of have the waterfall be more trickled into this little area down here so now i'm gonna add the substrate and then just add stuff as i go just a little chicken. I laid out most of the substrate. Um, still gotta pack it in. I also laid some more foam for the water feature because I wanted to be able to guide out more into the water. And then I just wanted to show you. I used just a little piece of foam that was lying around and just my all-purpose silicone. Um, and I just kind of I didn't have a paintbrush, so I didn't improvise. I just kind of dabbed it on there and you can see I just covered it all up with the substrate so and that was all that was all expanding foam under here so the whole rest of the tank is going to look like this other than this because this will be the water feature so all these little ledges and stuff those are all going to be the color of this substrate it's been a while since I've updated um, I got all the foam covered up except for the waterfall feature. I started to add some decorations. Um, just added some driftwood from the other tanks, some rocks. Gonna get everything buried. So yeah, next up is the water feature. Um, I'm excited. It's gonna I'm liking how it's turning out so far. Alright guys, another check-in. I bought some pillow moss just from PetSmart. Um, I started to fill in some of these empty spots because I wasn't liking how the empty substrate was looking. Um, I really like how it looks. I just laid it down and covered it with a little bit of substrate on the edges just to hold it down. Um, so calm down a little bit over there. A little bit under this rock. So yeah, another check-in. I have the um, water feature all laid out. I really like how it looks. I just use slate rock, just different sizes. Um, yeah, I think it looks really cool. The next step is going to be adding water and then 
all the structure up top. Most everything laid out, started filling in some gaps. Just trying to figure out where the water's coming out. To kind of make sure I only want it running out right here and not into the, the substrate, which you can tell it's a little damp because I'm plugging up holes and I gotta figure out where everything's coming from. So yeah, gotta shave all of this away. Um, I was out, I picked up a live plant and a piece of spider wood, which is really cool. So we're gonna get these situated and I'll set up in the tank. All right guys, got the, the spider wood and the uh, live plant in. I think they look really good. Probably gonna have to mount some dirt up right here so that everything's level, but other than that, I'm liking how it's turning out so far. Um, looking really good. But, uh, All right guys, got the lizards. Got final touches on the tank, done. And now we're ready to put them in. Should be an interesting endeavor, so. Stay tuned. We're gonna start with the long-tailed blizzard. Um, they are fast little guys, so I gotta be really careful they don't, they don't get out. Uh, set you guys right there. Yeah, that went pretty smoothly. Oh, they're so cool, guys. Long tail lizard is in. Look at him. So cool. Alright, next is the, the green and all. Six and a half hours later. Super cool guys. Alright, so right there we got the the green anole. You can see him climbing up on the plant. And over here we got the long tail lizard. Super cool guys, that went really smoothly. 